Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Pretty dirty down here today. It's pretty high. A little bit of bait around, but yeah, it's, it's not great. Uh, we'll see what happens. Righty guys. At the WiMac. Already had a few good shawls. Up for the next one. Yep. Yep. Oh Same geez, again. no, that's even bigger isn't it? Yeah. Oh I've got to get this without trying to get wet. Looks like the river's come up. Yeah, yeah it's only small amounts, it's because everyone down at the end of the WiMAT's cleaning up. <laughs> Speaking of that, what was it? Drone fish. Put out there saying with the video of everyone down there putting in pegs and poles and marking spots and stuff and then setting up camp and staying the night and it's like if you're not there you shouldn't be allowed to hold spots I thought the rules were that you couldn't is there another one a couple there is it yeah there's one there come on Oh, another couple. Got it. That's it. Yep. A little bit. All adds up. But yeah, so the marking spots. It's like if you turn up, you turn up. I don't see how you can hold spots. I don't know if it's legal or what's going on, but it seems a bit weird. It's just getting fights and all sorts of stuff. There was a cop, we were talking to a cop yesterday, and he was saying that he's coming down more often now sort out all these fights and bickering that are over white bait spots especially with the sale of white bait but the uh, I think the council have got to do something it's getting overboard who wants to get beaten up just because of a feed of white bait or get into a ruckus and go to the courts and all the rest of it just for a couple of these <laughs> I'd rather just buy it anyway Next river, next set. It's three half an hour pulls. It's not the greatest, but you got to deal with what you got to deal with. There's enough for a couple of petties, Mike. You'll be all right. Yeah, fuck all of them. Mm. This is what it is. Right, so we're going to do this next lift. Yeah. See what you have. Smelt. Grab you, mate. <laughs> Going home. Mm. Not as many as last time, but. Nah. It's looking better. So, here we go. Right, hey guys. This year coming up, we've got. Um, yeah, trucks coming up. We've got Meraki, Gore Bay, Kaikoura, Sissy Bay, which hopefully will be French Pass. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe if you want to see those. Hopefully the Meraki one, we've heard some good things about some cod down there. We're just trying to suss out some camping spots and stuff like that, but boat wrap looks good. Um, and then Kaikoura, well, usual Kaikoura, isn't it? Just cod, springtime cod. Gore Bay, yeah. Yeah, and Gore Bay, some surf casting. And um, yeah, the big one at the end of the year, Sissy, with hopefully some kingfish. Hey, Mike. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
It's got to happen sooner or later. Oh man, dying for that kingfish, aren't we? What's your setup on the back here, man? Um, well, it's pretty cool. After the last few years of camping and stuff, I decided to actually go all out and 3D designed it all. Nice. Had to have that cool. in there. So I actually just took all the measurements from inside the truck and chucked it into some 3D design stuff and basically sort it out and measure it all up so that's uh, um, big nuts <laughs> that's mike's big nuts <laughs> so yeah. that's just uh like the king's slide out fridge modified it took off these brackets and put some angles down so i could get these jaw runners underneath jaw runners i think they were like 30 bucks or something from bones and then this bit of timber it was like 35 bucks at bones again once again bones is always good and um so yeah, it all packs down. Of course, there's a good old fridge from Jack car. But yeah, it all packs down. So that's all my kitchen stuff under there. It's a bit of a mess at the moment, but hey, you know how it rolls. Got uh, spare gas canisters and all the knives and forks. There's a stack of stuff everywhere. Mm. So, we just pull all this off. Well, stove goes into the stove thing. I was chucking down here. And all the dust. Put the SUV cam set up. So you've got all the solar set up there. So you've got over here, you've got your 12 volt solar, and then um, you've got your 12 volt running from the car, so that'll charge the battery on the way. Fuse controller, lithium batteries, main fuse, and um, the lights, fridge set up. Um, we do have the, oh, I've got running lights under, in here as well. So, if I just do this, I don't know which one is. Right. Oh, it's one of them, some of them. Um, just light up night, got solar input in here. The lithium battery is uh, underneath in here. And of course you can actually just view it all from the screen. So that's the solar coming out at the moment. I don't know where the panel's sitting. As soon as it registers. I know you're getting 5 watts, 6 watts in at the moment. That's alright. So that's just for the solar controller and then for the actual battery. It's a, um, I can't remember where it is. It's from Burn, uh, Burns Co. And hopefully we should be able to just do that. Come on. It's looking at Bluetooth, it's a bit crap on it. Oh, there we go. So that's state of charge. Um, I've had the fridge going for like two days, so. Yeah. It's only 60 amp lithium. Um, yeah, it was just about trying to make it easier to do stuff, eh? Hey? Oh, and then we got 240 volts for vacuum packer for the fish. It's got a remote screen over the other side as well. Awesome. Yeah. But, um, hey, you got to do what you got to do to make life a bit easier. But, um, yeah.
Thank you.